case and who were also arrested by the police have also been giving, given an interim bail. Now, an interim bail does not at all mean that Anjum Rakeel Khan has been absolved of all the charges that are against him. In mm-hmm. fact, it just means that he'll be uh, he'll be he'll be allowed to move freely, but he will still be he will still have to attend the hearings of the court for all three cases on which he's gotten bail. Now he's uh, not only being t- uh, tried in the anti-terrorism court, but he's also being tried in two k- different cases in the district courts of Islamabad. And uh, <clears throat> right now, it's it's a it's a very positive move on the part of uh, Anjum Akil Khan. He can derive some positives out of it. Uh, we have been speaking to people who have been around him, and they uh, they said that uh, this was a real cause of concern for Anjum Akil Khan, and uh, he was uh, suffering from a lot of depression because of these charges. Now he'll at least be allowed to move on his own. He was previously captured along with 31 other people in the Adiala jail and he was being kept there. So now things have changed. Yes, Marvish. Uh, Ali, you mentioned he will still need to be uh, appearing in court for the subsequent hearings. Uh, do you have any idea on the dates of those hearings? Uh, I do not uh, actually, but uh, Anjubaki Khan's next uh, uh, case, uh, court hearing will be uh, after his remand is over. And uh, the anti terrorism court had ordered, uh, issued a remand for Anjum Akil Khan that uh, expired today and the bails came about as a result of that. And uh, Ali, can you just uh, recap for our viewers exactly uh, the, the entire details of the case in which he was convicted? Well, Marvish, there, there's not just one case. There's a, there are actually three cases. There's uh, the National Police Foundation case. Uh, which is a housing scheme and uh, he's been charged for misappropriation uh, mm. of financial resources. Then in the second case, uh, the second case relates to uh, uh, a dispute between him and an individual, a private individual, and he was being investigated by the FIA on those counts. It uh, amounts to uh, uh, a sum of 900,000 rupees for which he's being tried. Uh, and uh, he's being accused of having fraudulently uh, take. Uh, uh, fraudulently acquired this money from uh, the private petitioner, and the third case, of course, is him fleeing from the uh, uh, from Is- uh, the Islamabad jail, from Shazar Town jail, and uh, he was helped by workers of the PMLN, and that is the same. Uh, that is the reason why those PMLN workers were also arrested. In all, 35 people have been granted bail by uh, the anti-terrorism court today, plus Anju Makil. Right, thanks very much for those details, Sayyid Ali, our correspondent, uh, telling us uh, that the anti-terrorism court...